The Division, more The Division. In fact, it's everything The Division. Today, I wanted to jump around the Division universe and take a look at all the latest news from the far corners of this post-apocalyptic drama. Welcome back to the channel. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and today we've got Heartland, a new playtest for Resurgence and a new novel as well. Plus, Year 5 Season 2 is soon to drop for the Division 2. The OG game is running up on another global event. And of course, we need to talk about the bombshell announcement that the Division 3 will be coming. You guys have always shown such great support for my Division uploads, and that means a lot to me. In case you aren't yet a subscriber, hit that sub button and make sure to ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are greatly appreciated. Chapters are available for a smooth and easy viewing experience, and let's get this one rolling. Let's kick this one off with a look back at the OG Division game, which, despite its age, is still looking and performing quite well. I was able to get in a few sessions this week, trying out both Legendary Difficulty Matchmaker and some PvEVP and the Dark Zone, and this Division game is truly a unique experience. Now on the calendar is another global event beginning on October the 2nd through the 9th. This time it is the Strike GE, and the long and short of this one is that enemies explode when killed. Featured missions include Lincoln Tunnel, Lexington Event Center, Times Square, Warren Gate, and the incursion is Stolen Signal. The classified gear sets up for grabs are some of Division's finest, and these are all-stars. Featuring Path of the Nomad, Defense, Predator's Mark, and Banshee Shadow, along with three face masks, the classic hockey mask, Rider, and Jungle. Sticking with NYC and the Division Resurgence, Ubisoft's free-to-play mobile title announced another large-scale test, this time set for fall 2023, with plans to bring the test to new audiences, including the United States. Resurgence has had an interesting development cycle, featuring a limited test, which I was a part of and uploaded my early impressions to a YouTube video, but then the team just went completely dark, with no communication for the better part of half a year. Since returning, Ubisoft has delayed the launch until early 2024, and the Resurgence team has been taking the extra time to improve on items such as player onboarding, progression, a new armory system, and quality of life improvements like fast travel. I don't know exactly where this game will find its rhythm with the Division player base or mobile gamers in general, although there were some interesting facets to the core gameplay loop, like clan base building and a shared open world, and of course, the New York City setting is... Down Interstate 95, about four hours drive, is Washington, D.C. and The Division 2, which has been surviving on seasons and manhunts for what seems like forever, which is to be expected from a game that was set to close its doors back in late 2020 with Season 4. Year 5 Season 2 is set to ramp up sometime in early October, and Puppeteers is slated to continue the new storyline and lore begun with Season 1, Broken Wings. Now, all indications point to the familiar manhunt formula from previous seasons, but of particular interest is the new game mode, Incursion, which were held back from the most recent PTS, probably to keep them fresh and spoiler-free. Players should expect lengthened seasonal time periods, as this announcement from the dev team indicates they are needing even more time to balance new content with continued technical improvements. Looking across the entire Division 2 landscape, and one wonders how long it can exist on small content additions, manhunts, and global events. Countdown continues to remain popular due to the short time investment and sheer metric crap ton of loot a player can quickly accumulate, but most of the other modes and large portions of the map remain vacant. I always enjoyed incursions in the OG Division game, and I'm really looking forward to what the team has cooked up with Season 2, but player concerns are pointed towards questioning how long number two can continue to keep the lights on. Small Town USA and the Division Heartland is quite possibly the biggest question mark when it comes to the entire Division franchise. 
We've been hearing about this free-to-play survival action shooter since May 2021, and rumored release dates have come and gone, but still nothing from Heartland except more closed testing and a few devlogs along the way. Set in Silver Creek and following the story of rogue agents, aggressive hordes of survivors, and all set in a backdrop featuring the duality of PvE by day and PvP by night, Heartland continues to remain mostly an enigma. There are some interesting gameplay mechanics on tap, including cross-play, cross-progression, and a dynamic contamination system, but the questions surrounding Heartland all seem to lead back to, is this the right game at the right time, or is it too little, way too late? After another delay announced by Ubisoft, Heartland is slated to finally make its appearance sometime in fiscal year 2023-24, with all indications leading to calendar year 2024. In print and other media, the latest installment of the Operation Crossroads series, Hunted, a Tom Clancy's The Division novel, is now available to pre-order from Aconite Books. Link in the video description to that one. Also, it's been forever since we've seen or heard anything about that fabled Division movie, and considering the situation in Hollywood, that is understandable. All I have on this one is rumors and whispers, but the moment I do get something concrete, expect a follow-up report. And on to the monumental news story, The Division 3 was announced late last week, just out of the blue. No massive trailer, no hints, no dramatic fanfare, just, hey guys, The Division 3. Now, along with that announcement that a team to create The Division 3 was in the process of being assembled, Julian Garrity was also announced as the executive producer over the entire Division brand. Garrity formerly served as associate creative director for the original Division game and creative director for The Division 2. Now, this one is still light years away from materializing as Garrity's current Star Wars Outlaws project first needs to launch and then be supported before the major work can proceed for The Division 3, and even then, development time will take years. But the announcement alone has brought forth so many suggestions and hopes for The Division 3. I will, of course, continue working on my top 10 items that The Division 3 simply must have video and expect that one in the future, but on a top-level overview, I would begin with these five items. Number one has to be location, location, location. NYC in the snow was immersive and incredibly unique. Number three has to go big. Number two is all about speed. Speed of everything, movement, healing, consumables. I loved the speed factor in number one, not so much in number two. Number three is all about that dark zone. The 3DZ experiment has failed. Bring back one giant zone with even more players and Rogue 1.0 mechanics. Number four is a hot topic, bullet sponges. Bullets should kill not only me, but my targets as well. And number five is a compelling story with huge scalability to expand and replayability, which I think is pretty easy to understand. And of course, a bonus item, bring back survival. Even better with random loot crate spawns. It was an incredible game mode and sorely missed in number two. And of course, I have plenty more desires I will voice in a later video for what I want to see in the Division 3. I mean... Here's just a thought. What about a prequel? Dropping into NYC as part of the first wave with Noble Squad. But as always, I want to read your feedback on all of this. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are greatly appreciated. All my socials can be found in the video description below. Shout out to the now over 169,000 of you that have stuck with me and hit subscribe. And a huge thanks goes out to my patrons and to those of you sending over those awesome YouTube super chats. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.